Well, this is a first. Here at Four Seasons, Maldives at Landar Giribaru, I've got a jigsaw to finish. I would imagine it's a jigsaw to finish and eat. I've got a big bowl. I'm not sure what that's for. I've got Rodera and I've got a beautiful view. Look at my stunning view here. I'm on the beach with a pool that's seriously right for me to swim first thing tomorrow morning. Now this is a quite venerable hotel and it's very different. It is not like the standard cathedral villas divided into three. This is more like a home style villa with outhouses, as you'll see, really very agreeable. I've got um, an automatic iPhone charger as well as things either side of the bed. Now, plenty of storage space. For me, it's masses, more than masses. Why do people bring so many things when they're coming to a desert island in the middle of the Indian Ocean when all you want are um, lots and lots of t-shirts? A big tub and they've introduced colour since I was here last time, eight years ago. It's quite typical, by the way, to give masses of bath towels everywhere. Again, I think they use a lot of bath towels. Ila toiletries. And I'm going to take us outside. Hope I don't lock us outside. There's the entertainment centre. I was told with great pride that the new Braville kettles, this is a kettle, and you can stop the water boiling, depends how much water you need. Fever tree seems to have taken over the whole of the Maldives, by the way. Schweppes doesn't get a look in any longer. So I'm going outside if I can. I don't think I can. Sorry, I'm going to have to go out through my one of my French windows because I want to show you outside. There's a sala there for sitting my private beach, an enormous sitting area here, a two floor sitting area. There's a kind of private sitting area upstairs with electrics and everything. And this is the courtyard. And there's the front door that I couldn't open from upstairs. But look at this welcome. Isn't that gorgeous? Villa 206 here at Four Seasons in the Maldives.